Alan Greenspan says economic prediction can be revolutionized if we could measure fear and euphoria around the world. Now the Gallup World Poll is on track to do just that and now puts Greenspan's theory to the test in India and China. I'm Yasmin Vesugian and this is the Gallup World Poll. On The Daily Show, Alan Greenspan told Jon Stewart, that economic prediction has remained unchanged for 50 years, and that by rating one's fear and exuberance, he could better forecast a country's economic future. If I could figure out a way to determine whether or not people are more fearful or changing to more euphoric, and have a third way of figuring out which of the two things are working, I don't need any of this other stuff. I could forecast the economy better than any way I know. Now this is part of what the Gallup World Poll aims to do every day rate well-being around the world to help predict a country's future. Let's compare China and India, for instance, two countries that have experienced a massive economic growth over the last decade. Beginning with euphoria. Now, we didn't ask exactly that, but what the World Poll does ask is about enjoyment. Specifically, if respondents experienced enjoyment the day before the survey was taken. In China, 81% of people said they experienced enjoyment. And in India, it was a bit lower, at 72%. Let's look now at fear. Again, we didn't ask about that exactly, but what we did ask about was worry, specifically if people experienced a lot of worry yesterday. Now, in both India and China, it's about the same, with one in four people saying yes. Greenspan's theory is that economic success is better predicted by these types of behavioral measures. In China, the World Poll asked, right now, do you think that economic conditions in the city or area where you live as a whole are getting better or getting worse? And 80% of Chinese said it's getting better. In India, we asked, right now, do you think the economic conditions of this country as a whole are getting better or getting worse? And 50% of Indians said it's getting better. So the Chinese who experienced more enjoyment are also more optimistic about their economic future than the Indians but both populations report similar levels of worry. The next step will be to compare behavioral numbers to real economic growth. So Alan Greenspan could be onto something. I'm Yasmin Vesugian, and join us again to hear more voices from around the world.